Hi. Oh my Hi. my first live. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Hey, okay. Guys. Hi guys, I'm Tamar Khashkhashian. I'm Maya Daftian. I'm Kiana Dezimo. And I'm Lara Naim. How, How are you? <laughs> good, good. You? Good, good. good. Are you nervous? Uh, am I nervous? I'm excited more than nervous. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Um, could you tell us your role in our school? What te- what teach do you teach? Um, so for this year, it's my first year at Sopapo. I am currently teaching Sec 2, Sec 3 um, English. I'm replacing uh, Miss Ali Darian. So Sec, sec 2, Sec 3 English, Sec 4, ECR, uh, Sec 5, Drama, and Sec 5, um, Entrepreneur. That was Wow. <laughs> and you're doing an excellent job. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. Thank you. Um, so today's uh, topic, it's going to be motivation and confidence. Uh, so let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Um, could you tell us, uh, when you hear the words mental health, what comes to your mind? Um, I would say for many years when we thought of mental health, it, was, it had a very negative connotation to it. Um, but I find in these recent years, uh, we've kind of emphasized more on mental health and we've made it, um, we've made it in a way where uh, we should put importance into it uh, because it's important to take care of yourself, it's important to make sure that you're feeling okay. Um, so I don't necessarily think that it's something bad, like it's, it's good to take care of yourself. And um, yeah, so I would say it's not necessarily negative and everybody has different types of emotions that they feel. So it's um, it's good that we're putting emphasis on it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And do you think it's important to have motivation, just like you said before, but like, can you like go into it more? Um, to have, if it's important to have motivation. Yeah. Uh, I do think to have motivation. What do you guys feel? What do you guys think of, like, what does motivation mean for you guys? When like, we say motivation, probably what to, like motivation to do something, I guess. Okay. But, like, like having the energy to, to do this. something. Having yeah. and wanting to do something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I personally feel like motivation kind of goes hand in hand with setting goals and actually attaining those goals right so um i would say that uh, it's important it's important to have motivation uh but in order to be motivated for something you need to set goals for yourself so i feel like that's that's something that's important for me like when i don't have an end goal i feel like um when i don't have an end goal i feel like I'm lost and I'm not motivated. So I don't know what I'm doing, right? Yeah. So I feel like yeah. that kind of goes hand in hand. For you to be able to have motivation, you need to have a goal. Yeah. You guys hear me, by the way? Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but do you think there could be like a difference in a person's performance if they're motivated or not? A hundred percent. If you're not motivated, then uh, I don't find you'll be able... To push yourself the way you're supposed to, to be able yeah. to get to your goal or to be able to get to where you want, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I definitely do think that motivation plays a huge role in order to be able to get to where you want to get. Yeah, and plus, if you're not motivated, I feel like you don't do your best, and like you could have done a better job if you were more motivated to do something. Yeah, like you don't give yeah. it your, you don't give it your. Yeah. Heart. Exactly. Yeah. And as a teacher, can you see if a student is motivated or not? Like, do you see it? 100%. Uh, you can definitely see it as a teacher. Uh, I think that's one of the challenges a teacher faces, right? Because we see so many different students and um, we get to to witness and we see it firsthand when when a student is not motivated when they're not handing in their work when they're not 
uh, pushing themselves in the way that you know that they can. So I think that's one of the challenges for the teachers because we try to give everything that we can to our students, right? You, you give them extensions, you explain in 10 different ways if you need to. Um, you try to give alternatives um, in order for them to do well. Um, so I think when a teacher is doing all that, but the student is not motivated. I think I, I personally get so sad when I see it, especially when I know a student has so much potential. Um, so yeah, I we do see it as teachers. We definitely see it when um, yeah. not motivated. I think like a lack of motivation doesn't really help the school like in general because like the teachers are gonna have like a much more hard time to like try to motivate the kids you know like to do whatever they need to do like their tasks yeah so I think... well i mean when you become a teacher you know that those challenges are here right you know that you're yeah. not it's impossible for every student to be motivated so i yeah. think that's what makes a teacher a good teacher if they're able or they try their best to motivate their students in the best way that they can you know but do you guys take it personally if a student isn't motivated in your class um that's a good question that's a very good question obviously okay so at the beginning of the year as you guys know i was teaching history okay yeah, yeah. So it's not my cup of tea exactly um which full disclosure i was super happy i did it because i learned a lot but and you did really well as well Right. Yeah. It was a challenge, but uh, it was fun. It was fun because you guys are fun. Um, but uh, when it's different topics like um, history or ECR, there's math, there's so many different topics that it's, it's not easy to be able to get every student's attention, right? And it's normal. It's okay. But um, like I said, it goes back to... Um, like you have to go back to your teacher tools and try to find different creative ways to really try to get their attention. And sometimes it's not going to work and that's okay. I think I've learned, I, it's my first year teaching. So I think I've learned that it's okay um, if you don't get everybody's attention the way you want it, uh, you want to receive it. That's okay. But as long as you make sure that you're putting in the effort and I don't, I don't personally take it um, personally yeah right and i think as a student for me i would i it's not about the teacher it's really it just what goes on in our head like we're not really doing it's not because of the teacher it's just because of us you yeah know? i i want to tell the teachers like it's not because of you yeah, you know it's, it's me at all. i'm like not in the mood or i'm not in the zone <laughs> to work you know and you know what like I totally get that. I understand. And because I was a student one. Uh, and some days you're just not having it. And that's totally yeah. fine. Yeah. So I think as a student, um, I think it's important to have that open communication with a, with a teacher too. Like if you're, not, if you're not into it or you're not in the right mindset for that day, let them know in advance. So that way the teacher is more understanding and um and that way you feel more comfortable in that class and maybe by opening up you might be more willing to listen in in the class you know so yeah, yeah but it it definitely happens like you have those days where it's just not it's not working yeah yeah but what do you do personally to keep yourself motivated um what do i do to keep myself motivated yeah I um, I set myself goals. Um, like I was saying, motivation go for me. Motivation goes with having goals set for yourself. So, um, I would say that I set like daily goals for myself, and then end goals for myself. So, like obviously, when when you set a goal for yourself, say a goal that you want to do something in a year. Okay, it's super overwhelming. So I would, I always take it day by day. And let's say, uh, for today, I had to do a certain amount of corrections, you know, so like, that would be my goal for the day. And that if, 
if I'm able to, if I'm able to do it, then I'm motivated to keep on doing it more, you know? So every day, yeah. Um, yeah, I would say like, just set yourself small goals, daily goals in order to achieve your big goal. So, right. Yeah. Because yeah, I, mean, I feel like if you only set a long-term goal, you, you're, you'll procrastinate like every day. You'll be like, okay, tomorrow, 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 and then you're never going to do it. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I say, like, always work backwards. Like, you have, uh, you have your main goal. Now, what do I need to do daily in order to get to that goal? You know? Mm-hmm. So, always make sure that you have daily goals. So, that way, you're not just, like, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And then you, you end up doing it all in one day, you know? Yeah. So, I think that's sorry. what we Sorry. It's out of subject, but sorry about my mom. Because she said... <laughs> that she enjoys your classes <laughs> i love having her during my classes <laughs> <laughs> oh it's her she's the one yeah. on. hilarious I'm you could so doing our classes i love it <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome oh my gosh. what so, about you guys what motivates you guys <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I'm trying to work on it. Not really motivated at all. But yeah, I'm Why? trying. I don't know. I don't know. Because I you guys are... Not... Yeah, I feel like, I feel like uh, the pandemic had like a major effect on like, really? everyone. Time. So it's like, we all have this lack of motivation. And yeah, like we, we need like suggestions. That's why you're here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> first, but uh, you know what? Actually, I was. Um, I I don't know if I heard someone say it or if I watched something, but basically they were saying how this pandemic has affected all of us, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, but what I found interesting was the fact that the person I don't remember who it was, honestly. Um, they were saying how. Uh, the pandemic is happening every day, right? And mm-hmm. for the next, uh, well, for the past year and maybe for the next year, it's going to keep on happening. But that doesn't change the fact that after these couple of years, you're, you, I mean, you're, you keep moving on with your life. So I think for us who are going through the pandemic, I think it's important for us to think of what we want to do in two years or in a year or what our goals are like, like again, like, like I said before, set goals, things that you want to accomplish and start working on them from now. Like, I know it's hard. I know it's hard for you guys to think outside the pandemic right now because we're so into it. We're really, really de- deep into it. But I think we need to realize that it, life isn't stopping just because the pandemic is here. Like, it's still happening. It's still gonna, days are still passing by us. So, we have the choice of either keep doing what we're doing, keep going on TikTok, not doing anything, or uh, we have the other option of taking things into our own hands and actually, like I said, setting small goals in order to be able to get to where you guys want to get, you know? Right. So I think we need to try to, and me, like myself included, we need to try to think outside of this pandemic because it's it's so overwhelming that we got used to it and we just say, oh, it's the pandemic, you know, like, yeah, yeah. not used to that. So I think we have to try to get out of this funk that we're in. That means, do you think, like, routines increase motivation? Like, even though we're in, pa- like, we're in this global pandemic, like, do you think routines, like, it's an important thing for, like, motivation and, like, everything? Yeah, 100%. Uh, I've always believed that routine is important uh, with or without the pandemic. Um, because I find when you do have a routine set in place, like, uh, like for example, when I wake up, I make my bed. Uh, I get dressed, I go to work, and so on. But when you, when you have a routine, um, it allows you to focus on your priorities and allows you to focus on the goals that you've set for that day you know and um like mentally i find you're like you you feel more like grounded when 
uh, you have a routine set in place. Like when the pandemic started, I was at home. I didn't have a routine. I didn't make my bed. I wasn't doing anything. Like I was so lost. I just, I wasn't yeah. doing anything. I was, I had just graduated. Like, anyway, so I just find routine definitely does make a difference. Um, with more, like it helps more, like yeah. with hundred percent. Yeah, same. I think like if you have if you have a like if you have a time of doing things like waking up, okay, do your bed, go wash your face before class, eat something, then join your class. Like I feel like that those little things matter to keep your motivation high and just like know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it keeps you moving. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I mean if you're comparing, let's say waking up uh washing your face having breakfast to just waking up and logging on to class that makes a huge mm-hmm. difference right yeah so um yeah definitely i think routine does help uh with motivation yeah and what advice do you like give to people who are unmotivated um what advice would i give to people who are unmotivated i would say that First, it's okay to have those days where you're not motivated. It's normal. Everybody has those days. Um, I know it's going to sound like I'm repeating myself, but I really, I really believe that setting small goals for yourself daily will help you be motivated. Like, yeah. for example, I want to get five math questions done by the end of today because I want to practice it, you know, like yeah. that's going to motivate you. Uh, and once you do it, you check it off your list and it, it motivates you to do more the next day, you know, right. as opposed to like waking up and, and feeling unmotivated and not knowing what to do. Like I find, um, I find if you're, if you're unmotivated, the only way you could get out of that situation is if you put yourself out of that situation. You're the only one who can get yourself out of that position, right? Mm-hmm. So I think, again, setting daily goals definitely, definitely helps a lot. And set routines. If you don't have a routine, set yourself a routine, you know? Like, if you want to start working out, if you want to start going out for walks, like, make it a routine that after... Well, I was going to say after eight, but now we can't go out after eight. But make it a point after dinner, around 6.30, you go out for a walk for 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Yeah. Definitely helps with with everything, with your motivation. It helps with your um, mental health. It helps with everything. So, yeah. 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 I usually write lists, uh, lists like that I need to do. And I feel like I'm the only one that whenever I write like a check mark, it's so oh, satisfying. No, no, I do that too. I kidding. Are you kidding? I love it. I love yeah. it. It's like oh, I did one, so like I need to do the others. Yeah. Like, yeah. I I have my best friend. Like sometimes when I'm overwhelmed, I always message her, and I'm like, or even my sister, or even you know, like I just I tell them, okay, like I have this to do that to do and their first question is did you make your list i'm like no i haven't made my list so they're like okay make your list what are you waiting for we know you're gonna make your list do it so when i make my list and i see that list that i of things that i need to do i'm like oh my god but then once you start checking it off like visually it's the best best feeling of life yeah Yeah. i feel like we have so much things to do like and it gives us so much stress and like anxiety and when like you list it down I feel like your head is much more clearer yeah Yeah. it's like writing stuff that's in your journal for example like just to get it out of your way you know like so that (laughs) the stress like goes down yeah having it in your mind and having it visually in front of you are two completely different things in my opinion um and even when like you're setting goals like uh let's say one of my goals is um that i want to sell let's say five paintings by the end of the year okay if i write it down i i feel like i've made a commitment to this paper and that i need to you know like it motivates me seeing it and wanting to do it 
What do you guys? What do you guys, are you guys the same? Yeah. 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 I usually I usually make to do lists, especially like if I have like lots of things to do. Mm-hmm. So it it also keeps me like organized. So yeah, yeah. I have like and- sticky notes on my Mac, uh, and I write them down. And uh, like if I have homeworks or I have to do something, I write it down so I don't forget because I usually forget a lot. Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think the hardest part about this is like when one day you're not motivated and you miss things that were important, you can't catch up to them. Mm. That's the I feel like that's the worst part. But are you talking the, about that part? Yeah, like classes, online classes. Yeah. Because it's really hard for us. Like even though it doesn't seem like we have a lot of homework and like we always have fun, it's yeah. like in the end, we have so much, like, loads of homework or, like, revision to do. And I feel like it's it's hard for us, you know, yeah. the pandemic. Like, this weekend, we have so much to do. Like, oh, so, so much. much to do. Well, I mean, uh, 100%, you guys do have a lot to do. And I find um, lately it's been a lot of projects. So, like you said, Kim, like, they're super fun. But at the same time, it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. So it's like even I get though it's fun, it's like exhausting. It gets exhausting. Yeah, exactly. I I mean I understand how it could be overwhelming. Hundred percent. Already being a student is overwhelming with everything that you need to do, plus all the other stuff. Um. So, but one thing I would say is like have that open communication with your teachers. You know, like they know that you have other homework know that you have a bunch of course course load that you need to you need to take care of so i think open communication is the best like when i give a test and a class says but we have four exams on that day yeah. I'm, like, yeah. I'm okay with changing it for you guys like teachers aren't there to make you suffer you know uh it's but funny I, yeah Sorry, it's funny because like sometimes we think they have like a meeting and they say, okay, on this week, we're going to like put like so many exams at the same time so that they can like have. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's horrible. We do it on purpose. We do it on purpose so we yeah. can, so our students can fail. No, obviously not <laughs> those meetings. Um, but. Yeah, so I would say have that open communication with your teachers. Um, I don't even remember what the question was, to be honest. I, <laughs> uh, I think it was, uh, how, what advice would you give, right? We went yeah. from there to this. <laughs> you guys don't remember either. Okay, good. No. <laughs> um, okay, but did the pandemic affect your daily routine, if you had one already before? Um, well, the pandemic started when it was my last year um, in university. And then um, I literally blinked and then woke up from being a student. I was a teacher. <laughs> Just like that, it happened. <laughs> I, didn't have, I didn't have a graduation ceremony. I didn't feel like I graduated. Like, it just happened. Um, so definitely it, it my daily routine changed you can say that um but i think there were a lot of positives uh that came out of the pandemic for me i mean there were there, don't get me wrong there's a lot of bad things that happened um with uh, the amount of people who got sick and so on um but i think i was able to spend a lot of time with my family uh which i hadn't in a long time yeah uh, which was like super nice and i got super close to them um but yeah it did change my routine in a sense where i had to learn how to keep my routine without having a routine if that makes any sense like without yeah. having to leave the house i had to force myself to get out of bed make my bed uh get dressed which i didn't that often like i would stay in my pjs um but you know it was a challenge and just like it was for everybody else it was a, it yeah. Was, yeah yeah i for feel us, too yeah for sure 
I feel like everyone said like the pandemic made their families closer. Uh, for me, like in my opinion, because I don't have like a big household. Like it's only I'm the only sibling, and before we would do like Sunday suppers. Okay. So, like, it was amazing, but after the pandemic hit, and oh, it was the worst. You know, like yeah, it's horrible. So now, like we can't do any suppers or like any reunions. You know, so it's like the opposite. Sunday suppers with the rest of your family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. Like and I have a big mother. family. We usually yeah. like went to each other's houses like every day or like every weekend. And then once the pandemic hit, like I barely see my like yeah. large family. Yeah. I miss them. And honestly, I hundred percent. I know that. I know what that feels like. Us too. We were super close with our cousins, like each yeah. other. Week. Now we, like for uh, was it for Easter or I don't remember when we zoom called like the whole family on yeah. Zoom. it was a disaster my uncle was yelling my aunt was yelling. <laughs> oh my God, what's going on <laughs> yeah. yeah we had a new year's uh new year's eve call on house party with all the family it was like <laughs> it was bad but you know what yeah. like at least we have that at least we yeah. have technology that helped us get through the pandemic and a lot of people who are you know you have to yeah. think of you have to think of the positives instead of focusing too much on the negatives. Yeah. 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 I think uh, it really affected the students routine because we're so used to okay, wake up, eat breakfast, go to school, and then at 12 you have lunch and then you come home, you do your homework, you eat. And now it's like when you're online, you barely even move from your bed. So yeah, eating yeah. is something like so hard to do. You need to get out of bed. <laughs> like, make your food. That's why when I have you guys after lunch, like when I have a class with you guys, sometimes I ask you, so who had lunch? You know, like I wanted to know yeah. if anybody got out of their beds, out of their rooms. Um, but yeah, it's so important to push yourself. Like you have to just push yourself to to get out of that that vibe, you know, like just to yeah. do it yeah. for yourself. Not doing it for anybody else. You're doing it for yourself. Right. Okay. And, oh, oh yeah. Go 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 go. No, it's okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> what motivates you to go to work every day? What motivates me to go to work? Yeah. You want to hear the answer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my students. My students motivate me to go to work. Hundred percent. I know it sounds cheesy. Um, but no, like, you guys. You guys, all of all of my students, um, although you're annoying sometimes, <laughs> um, <laughs> seriously, like you guys make me laugh. You guys uh, teach me things. You guys show me different perspectives. Um, we have debates. We have discussions. Like I love, I love coming to work because I love my students, and I think that's what motivates me to do my job, but also like to go to work happy and um to enjoy it you know like i really really uh, seeing you guys i'm happy like we did this live because like i feel like we haven't seen each other for like years you know yeah. like, so, like even online yeah, yeah. like because it's different class like you mean in class you know not e even online like i don't remember the last time we've done online with you <laughs> <laughs> was it this week? What? <laughs> <laughs> we did the game of it's which so one do you rather? Oh yeah, that was fun. We had a fun yeah. class going on. Your mom participated. Yeah. I was getting punched. You guys were laughing at me. <laughs> it was an entertaining class. No, I know. It's yeah. because we don't have these elaborate discussions during online class. Yeah. It's yeah. Everybody's on mute. The teacher's speaking on her own. Yeah. I see smiles here and there, but it's not laughs, so it's so awkward. No, I'm joking. I'm not, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's talk a little bit about confidence. Because yeah. um we had a we had some people suggesting we talk about it. So uh do you think 
uh, you want to go, Kiana? For sure. Yeah. Uh, do you think confidence is essential for life, like in life? Um, I think, I think what's essential um, to have is to believing in yourself. And I think if you do believe in yourself, then that will lead you to have confidence um, in any way that you need it. So, like, I think more than anything, um, like, in order to be confident, you need to first believe in yourself, believe in what you're doing, believe in your passion, believe in uh, the little steps that you're taking daily. And if you if you feel confident, if, if you feel comfortable and accept yourself and believe in yourself, then that's what's gonna push you to be um, confident. So I think okay. confidence is important, a hundred percent. But I think believing in yourself will lead you to get there. Confident. Yeah, I feel yeah. like loving yourself is important as well, like for confidence wise. Because I feel like if people aren't uh, aren't like in love with their body and their like personality a hundred percent like they're gonna have more insecurities or like more um protection between other people you know exactly yeah yeah it's important it's super important and i know it's um i know it's like this thing now where everybody says like find yourself and uh believe in yourself like it actually means something. It's not just to talk like you. Yeah. you have yeah. Food time, especially especially at your age, it's so hard to have that. Um, like to to put in the effort to really focus on yourself, and um, I think if you start the process from now, I think it would it, it would definitely help you gain that confidence that you need. Yeah, sure. I think you need to like first step is like try to rely on yourself and not on other people like mostly your happiness like don't rely on somebody to be happy you have to be happy with yourself and you're like when you're alone you need to yeah. be you need to enjoy your own company exactly. yeah, i feel like yeah that's very important to have confidence yeah a lot of people said that oh sorry a lot of people said that like loving yourself you should love yourself before loving others yeah yeah and that's like a good yeah, I, I've, I've seen this um, again. I don't remember why I saw it, but um, it was basically before. Like it goes off of what Kiona said. So if let's say you have a cup, okay, I'm trying to remember the way the person said it. But I'm probably gonna ruin it, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> so uh, when you have a cup, okay, um, if it's full, if it's not full. Okay, you won't be able. Okay, so the cup is you. Okay, <laughs> you're, the cup. you're the cup, and if the cup is not full, then that means you can't fill another cup, which is the other person. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is, you have to love yourself. You have to have your cup full in order to be able to fill someone else's cup. So love yourself first before you start loving someone else. Yeah. So yeah, that's I true. That, uh, found that kind of cool. I kind of ruined it now, but yeah, you got the idea. <laughs> yeah. Someone asked, um, what will be your reaction if your friend is not motivated? What would, what would be my reaction if my friend wasn't motivated? Yeah. Um, I think I've had that before. I've had people in my life who I love and uh, who weren't motivated. And I think no matter how much I try or I try to convince them that they're amazing, that they're the best, that they're so capable of doing whatever they want to do, they're intelligent, all that, I think the only thing that could motivate them is uh when they realize that they're able to do whatever they want to do like i can say all i want but until they don't believe it they won't be able to do it so i think as a friend it's important to always show the support although you're you might get annoyed although you might feel sad um although you might think that it's not making a difference you always need to show that support to your friend if you really love them uh 
but you can't expect them to change just because you told them yeah. that they're very able to do it. I think you need to come to the realization or accept the fact that your words might not make a difference, but you should still be there. Personally, I feel like you should still be there for your friend and show the support that they need until they're able to see it themselves mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, fly on their own. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's important to reassure the people around yeah. the people you love, because they must yeah, be going through something if they're feeling like that, you know. Yeah, we've talked about it like with Miss Ali, and it's so true because like sometimes you try to support your friend like as much as you can, but it, until they accept that advice, you know, like it's not gonna work mm-hmm. out, you know. Exactly. They it really needs to come from that person. Same thing goes with like students, you know? Like like I said before, teachers can do anything that they want, but if it doesn't come from the student, then yeah. there's a blockage. Like it needs to come from the person and um it starts from there. It starts from within and then uh you'll be able to do it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. About um about the confidence, do you think there are certain um specific areas in life where you actually need to be confident i think you should be confident in any uh anything that you do in life you know like like don't get me wrong okay having confidence is not easy uh no one is 100% confident everybody has those things that they're insecure about aren't 100% confident in um and i think that goes with um life experience um the more you grow older the more life experience you have the more education you have the just everything that you go through um will help you with your confidence and i think it's important to not dwell on the negative things that have happened in your life i think it's important to learn from them um and uh, use those opportunities to learn and to grow from you know and um so yeah i think that goes back to uh mane did you ask if it's important to have confidence in it? like what where what area it's important to have yeah. confidence yeah. yeah 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 i think it's i think in every area you just like i said believe in yourself in order to have the confidence you need whenever you need it mm-hmm. yeah Yeah. And I don't think like you're born with confidence. I feel like it's because of experience that you gain that confidence. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, also like... Yeah, go ahead. Okay, go. No, go. <laughs> <laughs> uh I feel like at a point everyone could have um their maximum confidence, you know? Meaning meaning like even though we don't have the confidence or as much confidence as we think we should have after uh, with the experiences that we get or like with the um lifetime like with the timing it's like i feel like it's with time that you get the confidence that you need yeah you know and yeah big time the experiences i feel like make a huge difference in your confidence um and just like growing from them you know you'll you'll gain confidence by growing with your experiences and um always always um i think it's also important to not compare yourself to others um because because if you start comparing then you you'll expect or you'll want things that others have and it's just it's it's yeah. not it's not for you you know so you just have to again focus on you and um and learn from whatever you go through and be confident with your life that you have yeah. you have to accept who you are and not like look at other people and look at what they have look at what you have and be happy with it and like embrace yourself yeah yeah i think a lot of people compare themselves to other people and I don't think that's a good idea because I've done that so many times. I feel like everyone has done that yeah. once in their lives and I don't think it should be a norm. You know, like it shouldn't be normalized because like you're unique as you are, you know. If if everyone's the same thing, you know, life would be boring. Yeah. Just like mm-hmm. Alex said, yeah. Exactly. 
um i had when i was in when i was 23 years old i uh no after i graduated college i went to university 18 years old i went to university and for four years i didn't know what i was doing like i was i was lost i was going from program to program didn't know what i was doing um and then come 23 years old everybody's graduating from my from my same grade everybody's graduating and i'm still here not knowing what i'm doing and i'm just starting my new program which is education and so i could have very easily let that get to me i could have like yeah. that and then some days it did some days i was like what am i doing you know but then you start realizing that everybody goes at their own pace and you shouldn't shouldn't compare yourself to others like exactly. i cuz i learned things from these 4 years of not knowing what i was doing you know so i think it's just um trusting trusting your path and focusing on your path and not thinking of yeah, yeah you know? it's like a process you got to trust the process exactly exactly can you tell if someone is confident like when you like do, can you like realize if someone's confident um yeah i could look a lot of people fake it uh sometimes which is fine uh, like to each their own um it's it's um sometimes it's is very easy to tell when someone is faking it or some when someone is actually confident um i think someone's presence makes a huge difference like effortless presence you know when like they're speaking and they have this presence but they're not trying hard they're just yeah they're confident in what they're saying and they you know the way they're holding themselves their mannerisms all that um i think i think you could tell and uh, the more you the more you meet people i think the more you'll be able to um get an idea of you know how if that person often you might be wrong i might be wrong i don't know this is just my personal experience i feel like with the way that people act or speak or uh, put themselves together or you know i, I feel like know. body language also has a role in this yeah so. exactly body language I, does i feel like sometimes people put that confident look just to create a like a tough look so people don't get to them but inside they're not confident and yeah. i think and i think that's not such a good thing because at some point you're going to get hurt and you're going to fall apart yeah i mean it's definitely it's it's hard to always put up that front yeah. you know that tomorrow at some point something's going to happen where you can't put that front up anymore and you're just going to break down so uh it might be a coping mechanism for people to to feel more confident uh yeah. but i think as long as it, i mean by all means if you want to pretend you're confident and then at some point uh, behind the scenes actually work on yourself go for it you know yeah um, yes. but uh yeah it's it really depends on each person and what they prefer but i think just stay- true to yourself i think is number one and uh yeah yeah i feel like keeping your emotions inside of you is not really a good idea as well it's no. because yeah because i always keep my emotions like inside until it comes out like randomly and like when you don't want it to come out it just comes out and like i feel like it hurts your mind mostly you know But I also want to mention that uh not showing your emotions doesn't necessarily mean that you're confident. You yeah. know, like it doesn't mean just because you're not showing emotions doesn't mean you're confident. Like you can be really confident and show emotion, you know? Like right. that's 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 a misconception that a lot of people have. Like just because you're showing emotion doesn't mean you're not a confident person. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think we should normalize that like show your emotions that's fine that's good let it all out yeah okay and uh how much time did it take you to be confident in your own like body or yourself um it's 
a hard question. I mean, look, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm fully confident. I would say that I'm still working on myself. It's a, it's a learning process. And um, I think it, like I mentioned before, like it comes with experience. I think the experiences that I went through, I learned from, I didn't uh, dwell on them. I grew from them. And uh, I'm, I wouldn't change my life for anyone else's, you know? So I think, although I went through uh, positive things, learned from them, negative things, learned from them, I think it's important to embrace those things and be confident in what your life has turned out to be so far and what you want to do to make it even better, you know? Right. Um, so how long it took? I don't know how long it took. I think it's a, uh, it's still taking it's still working, you know, and it's yeah. going to work until I'm older. Like, I, I think everybody, like, you could be 50, 60, 70 years old and still be working on your confidence. And it's nothing bad. It's you learn from your mistakes, like um, Kevork said, and you grow from them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's always room to for more. So you can always keep working on yourself yeah. To, yeah. to get even more confidence. Yeah. Exactly. There's always room to grow. There's always room to learn. And yeah. Yeah, you learn something new every day. Yes, you do. Yeah. yeah. What did you guys learn today? Um, <laughs> setting, setting like daily goals for, yes. for motivation. I need, I need a routine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're actually going to do it. Now I'm going to ask you during class, what's your, what's your routine? I will, yeah. cool. Maybe that's what I should do in class. Ask everybody before class what's your daily goal. Yeah. Good idea. Thought. Maybe I'll think about it. We'll play a game. We'll play a game. Everything's a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this was it. Yes. Um, thank you so much. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. It was an honor to have you here tonight. It was an honor and... to <laughs> um, Well, we'll see you in class. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, <laughs> Thank you for you everyone for watching. Uh, we'll update you guys for another live soon, sure. hopefully. And we'll keep you guys updated. So thank you so much. I hope you guys learned something today. And Wait. set your goals. I want to say something. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. I just to say... That you guys are killing it. You're doing an awesome job. And um, it's great. What you guys are doing is honestly uh, uh, a great cause, great awareness. And uh, keep it up, guys. Really. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we, you. we love the positivity. Yeah. yeah. The it's support is guys. actually keeping us like motivated. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so thank you so much guys thank see you soon bye, bye. bye.